Coach is Juan Antonio Pizzi, born in Argentina, played internationally for Spain, and this is the formation he prefers. Plenty of attacking options, especially on the flanks. Werner and Goretzka are joint top scorers in the tournament. Let's go, everybody. Welcome to St. Petersburg. Whatever they do, though, Germany have won everybody back in. Brilliant move, the brilliant tackle as well. The chance is still there, scrambled away. And much quicker and uh, creates space for Vidal here. Maybe he'll pick in the shot. He did do first time to his name. And that's the moment earlier where it really looked as though they could be in for the first goal. It was a delightful break into the area from Charles Arangis. Vital defending from Rudiger. The Chilean's in particular here, but they've got to capitalise on it. Well, at least these shots are coming in. This and uh, as a result, possession conceded once again. The opportunity presents itself. Here's the shot. There's the save from Ter Stegen to foil Vargas once again. To Stegen, it's a routine stop for him, really. Vargas with a couple of early opportunities here. He wove into position for the shot. Almost too direct, and the man in green. Not seen Goretzka get a touch yet, and he's usually a dominant in the early exchanges. And there's a Chile having so much of the ball, maybe over much of it. Vidal, his turn to try and get a shot through. He does! Beat away! It must be a goal! This oh, how on earth did that not end up in the... The door slammed firmly in the German's face. <gasps> Mistake there by Diaz, and Germany is certainly going to walk them all into the net. Horrendous mistake, and the man who scored for Germany against Chile after 40 minutes in Kazan has scored earlier this time. It's taken only 20 minutes for Lars Stindl to put the ball into the South American's net. It's totally against the run of play. It's typical Germany. They've taken a battering over 20 minutes defensively, might have gone behind on numerous occasions, but a horrid, horrid error at the back is punished here, and Lars Stindl will never score an easier goal as long as he plays professional football. Teed up for him here by Werner after that mistake by Diaz. Look at this. How much more time would you like? Thank you very much. Danke. 1-0 Germany. Against all the run of the play Chile nil Germany won it was the 43rd goal of these finals this could be the 44th Isla pulls it back he's the space here for Hernandez initially and then for Vidal Vidal goes for the shot too high once again same man who whose error proved costly on the goal Diaz it's got through here into the area Germany looking for number two the shot flies across from Goretzka Wide of goalkeeper Bravo's right hand, but fortunately for Chile, wide of the uprights too. Otherwise, Goretzka would have been the top scorer in the Confederations Cup. That would have been his fourth. The man who's double his brace of goals in the... They break at speed. With three forward here, it's a big opening. And fortunes good ball from him as well. Another one-on-one -on -one here. Werner trying to get a second German goal. or will one up. Here's the try, here's the shot. It's wide, only just from Draxler. Lovely move again, begun by the fullback Hector. Continued down the left channel by Werner, who is pulling the Chilean defence apart. And the final effort from Julian Draxler drifts a couple of feet the wrong side. Tournament. Oh, and another error. Terrible mistake. Draxler, his TV's up here. Surely, oh no, Goretzka foiled by Bravo. Well, Germany may well rue the opportunities that they are missing as well. Draxler could well have taken on the shot himself. Chose not to do so, but Chile... And they all know what can happen if they do that. And here is a terrific run. He's come all the way. And it's flown through the penalty area. I think that may have just got the slightest of deflections. Excellent work from Draxler. Germany do pose big problems when they attack in unison like that. And Draxler has been such an influential figure throughout this tournament. It went wide on the far post. It took the deflection. And it will indeed be a corner kick. 
for Germany. Julian Drexler to produce something effective. It's useful. It is useful. It could end anywhere. This all down the touchline. There's a one on one developing here. Hara across does his job as always. Hara sent off once in his previous Chilean career. We shall soon find out. As a result of that, he is producing a yellow card. Needs a touch of magic from this man. Oh, it's a great ball in as well. It's just not dropping. Sanchez is blocked off once again. Duration from somebody in a red shirt. Arangiz. Vargas. And the save from Tistegen again. No matter what they contrive, they cannot beat this German defence and its goalkeeper. But once again, Tostegen was simply in the right. Isla to contribute. The ball in for Tostegen. Fisted away as far as Sanchez. What next here from Chile? Beausajour across. It comes back to Sanchez again. Down he goes. Referee. No penalty. And the frustrated Vidal beats the ground in despair with his fists. It's just not happening for Chile, but they'll keep on. Aranguiz. Aranguiz will shoot. And it's not the best shot, but Tostegen has to... Get fingertips to it, corner kick. Seven of those for Chile, four for Germany. They want to take it quickly, basically for the moment. Chile attack, but only one across the centre. Routine stop for Tostegen, who's been a bit of a mixture today. He hasn't always handled cleanly, and this one from Valencia stretches him rather more than it should have done. Sanchez, it's taken the deflection, the keeper. Oh, he's back in! Oh, my goodness gracious me! For no more than not six yards out, right on the edge of that penalty area. Could not have been a better opportunity, and it's gone miles high off the boot of Sagal, who could have been a national hero overnight in Santiago. For Goretzka. For Kimmich, and out. Well, not out, but into the arms of the goalkeeper, Brown of his career now. Only ever scored once from a direct free kick. Oh, it's fisted away by Tostegen. The shot goes... Down goes a Chilean player again. It's over. Germany have won the Confederations Cup for the first time in their history. The first European winners since France. Chile, who've been so successful over recent times, are a beaten team, and it was one catastrophic error in the 20th minute by their normally so reliable midfield player Marcelo Diaz which led to Timo Werner teeing up Lars Stindl's walking goal and that was good enough for Germany World Cup winners in Brazil in 2014 Confederations Cup winners in Russia in 2017 The agony etched on the face of Arturo Vidal, who plies his trade in Germany. But yet again, this European nation, a phenomenal footballing nation, has risen to the occasion when it matters most. So Germany, our confederation.